Hello everyone and welcome to Pouring Out Cubes today. I hope everyone has had a blessed week and I hope that you have an amazing start to the weekend. Uh, we're going to be in Matthew chapter 18 today and I'm going to read verse 1 all the way through about verse 5. Okay, so verse 1 says, About that time the disciples came to Jesus and asked, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Jesus called a little child to him and put the child among them. Then he said, I tell you the truth, unless you turn from your sins and become like children, you will never get into the kingdom of heaven. So anyone who becomes as humble as this little child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And anyone who welcomes a little child like this on my behalf is welcoming me. You see, what Jesus is telling his disciples and what he's telling us is that through our life, we have to understand that we have to humble ourselves and not be so prideful to where you know, we basically kick Jesus to the curb because we think that we can do it by ourselves. You see, as Christians, we are to be, uh, we are to lean on God. We are to lean on Jesus. Maybe not to completely, you know, do everything for us, but to ask him for guidance, to follow the steps that God has laid out in front of us, not take our own, right? And so what Jesus is telling the disciples is to be completely humble and humble yourselves like little children. So I challenge you, if you feel like that you are not humbled, if you feel like that you are not like a little child, then pray to God and ask how to humble yourself. Stay humble, everyone. Pray with me. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, I pray today that, uh, that each and every one of us, that if we are prideful, Lord, that we humble ourselves before you, that we are like Jesus washing the feet of the disciples, even though he is the great one, he is the son of man and he is the son of God, he still humbled himself before them. Lord, I pray that each and every one of us that we walk on the trail that you've laid out in front. Lord, I thank you for the blessings you've given us and the blessings to come. In Jesus' name, amen. Y'all have an amazing week and God bless.